Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorials, uh, we have taken a look at how we can go ahead and use ICMP redirections and ARP poisoning uh, to our own, uh, let's say for example, users. So there are multiple features out there. You can go ahead and search uh, related, uh, related to that, such as web. So the first thing that we would be teaching right now would be how we could go ahead and first uh, kill our, or let's say for example, there is any, uh, we, I will be teaching you the man in the middle attacks today. So that we would be first taking a look at how we can go ahead and kill uh, the router or uh, the modem a bit in between us. If you're using Wi-Fi or if you're in a LAN connection, how can you uh, go ahead and uh, let's say for example, spoof or use another person's network to your own advantage. So uh, for this tutorials, I will be assuming that you already have uh, gained, go, gone ahead and gained access to the router by looking at one of my previous tutorials. You can go ahead and check how we can go ahead and uh, gain access to any machine by going ahead and using some of the exploits in uh, Kali Linux. So in this tutorial, I will be teaching you the post exploitation method. So let's go ahead and start our Windows 7 virtual machine as well as the Kali Linux. Let it start. So just in case if you're not uh, using Cal Linux for some reason, you have uh, your own Ubuntu or Fedora which you have customized extremely or even a BSD server, then I'll show you where you can go ahead and download the Itrek app which I would be teaching you today. And you can go ahead and download the Itrek app from over here. Just in case you are using any other versions of U uh, Linux such as Ubuntu or Red Hat or any other thing. So you can just go ahead and add this repository from the GIT hub and it will be much easier for you to go ahead and uh, spoof or sniff anyone's uh, IP address or go ahead and gather any information. And another one which I would be recommending would be the Wireshark. And Wireshark is a very awesome tool. It's also available on Android if you can go ahead and check. But it is a, uh, so I'll just go ahead and show you the Android versions as well. Uh, this is not Wireshark, uh, Wireshark is a bit dif different and it is called as Interceptor NG over here which performs the same as Wireshark as you can see we have this over here. So it performs the same thing as Wireshark uh, that is going ahead and gathering TCP details and dumping it over in a uh, local format. So yep, now let's go ahead and start our Cal Linux. and Windows 7 as well. Perfect. So I'll just maximize this. I'll open the terminal. And the first thing that I would like to check is that whether uh, I would like to show you, you should make sure that these both are in a NAT format that is both are able to access the internet as well as each other. So the, for that first go ahead and check whether they are able to, they are on the same gateway or something. So just go and type CMD and hit enter. And you can type IP config over here to go ahead and check. Okay, so the default gateway is 192.168.236.2 and this is my IP address. And let's check whether the gateway for uh, my, uh, this is the same. Okay, I believe it is the same. The reason being that I cannot see the gateway over here, but I can surely see the IP address is 192.168.236.130 and over here it's 236.131. So I believe only the last uh, part is different. So I believe they are both on the same gateway. So now let's go ahead and uh, let's see if my Windows 7 version is able to access internet. Mm, let's see. Okay, perfect. I believe we have access to the internet right now. Perfect. So I'll just go ahead and uh, so uh, I, uh, let me just check. So once you've gone ahead, you must be already knowing that this is the victim's IP address since you have already gone ahead and hacked into the system. But now you want to go ahead and capture the data from their system and gather much more information. So I would be assuming for this tutorial that we have access uh, to this uh, machine and since we are in land we already know where we are exactly because I can straight away go ahead and use my nmap and uh, I believe it's s uh, p I believe or s p or s s I believe it's s s 192.168.236.2 to 154 and let's check 
if I remember properly, then it should be this. What this would do, okay. Uh, I believe it's SP, SP or SSI, I don't remember exactly. I believe it's SP, fact. Okay, perfect, it's SP. So as you can see, uh, in app scan for report 192168, it's from, so what this is exactly doing is it's capturing all uh, the connections that are available on my uh, router right now. So as you can see, I have this VMware version as it's showing 192.168.236.30 and 0.131, which is mine. And this is the default gateway router. All of these three are up. That means uh, all of these are working right now. So I would first go ahead and try to, let's say for example, if uh, this was on a wireless LAN, then I could straight away go ahead and type ARP spoof hyphen I space WLAN zero and hyphen T and now I would go ahead and type the router's address. So over here it's 192 uh, and 0 0.168, 0 0.236, 0 0.2 and I will just go ahead and show you what this I and T means. Uh, just open, let me just open the ARP spoof. I is the interface, so over here it's WLAN if this was a wireless network and T as you can see is the target. But since we are not using the WLAN 0, we have something different over here. It's working on ETH 0, so I would be using the ETH 0 rather than WLAN 0. Perfect. And over here the target, uh, okay this is not my target actually. And it's 192.168.236.2 uh, and I would be going ahead and typing uh, now the victim's IP address, not my IP address. So just make sure of that. It's 192.168.236.13, I believe it was 0, perfect. And now let's see if our party is able to access the internet. If I have not done anything wrong, then I should not be able to. Let's check. Okay, I'm still able to. Okay, I believe. Uh, oh, oh, uh, that was wrong. Sorry. Uh, I actually went ahead and used my own IP address. Uh, my bad. So I'll just go ahead and cancel that and I'll change it to 131. That is my victim's IP address, I believe. Mm, that's what happens. You go ahead and do a lot of things, but finally just miss out the small things and a small error will lead to huge mistakes. Now let's see if our person is able to access the windows I believe not because even the chrome is not starting so let's go ahead and check google perfect so now our attacker will, will won't be will not be able to go ahead and able to access anything over here and just in case uh, if you wanted to check uh, which uh, per the person who has uh, what kind of computer or something you could go ahead and use uh, let's say for example the nmap or the zenmap to go ahead and gather more information or if you're more interested in the hardware then I could still do that. So as for the timing, I'll just cancel this ARP spoof right now by typing Control Z. And as I was using that, let's go ahead and check what is the MAC ID of our target. So this is the MAC ID of our target. That's 131, and this is my own, which I mistakenly took for our target's ID. So I'll go ahead and use this IP address. Uh, I'll just go ahead and copy it over from over here, and I'll be using that to go ahead and insert it over here. So I'll just type HTTP, okay, I don't even need that I believe. It's uh, Mac, I'll just type, or I'll just type it over here. Mac ID checker, and I'll get admin user, something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, perfect. So as you can see, I have the admin uh, sub.net. If I go and type it over here, since I'm using uh, VMware over here right now, it would show me VMware. And as you can see, VMware. But if I were using something different like uh, that of my, let's see what I get if I go ahead and use, okay, for 132, host is up, just for the VMware. Let's see if uh, what happens if I go ahead and use my original computer's IP address. So, okay, sorry, it's IP config. Okay, I need to run it from user, I believe. As administrator. And IP config. So let me check my, okay, I cannot see my, I forgot I cannot see my Mac ID over here. I need to go ahead and check that from my networks connection, I believe. Okay, so this is my Mac ID. FCAA14 and if I'll just go ahead and use it over here FC1A414 let's see what I get uh, 
As you can see, I have the Gigabyte technology that is so it's only with the first six digits it will go ahead and give me out the specific company's uh, perfect uh, attribute so that I will be able to guess at least uh, what exactly the person is using. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how we can go ahead and capture these packets and use them to go, uh, um, to go ahead and capture the data. Let's say for example, the images and everything from the person's computer. That is it guys for this tutorial. And at the end of this tutorial, I'll be teaching you the evil grade uh, with, through which I can go ahead and insert my malicious tools inside the computer, inside the person's software updates, or I can even use them for redirecting persons to my own website and asking them to log in their own fake creden own credentials onto my fake website. So that's it guys for this tutorial.